Yes, Amsterdam has it all. These are my hidden secrets and best places to visit for this glorious European city. The first lesson, pay attention to the cyclers here. The bicycles, they really come from everywhere. So if you, if you don't pay attention, they just drive right through you. Oh. Let's get this Amsterdam adventure started with a drink, which is called a borrel in Dutch. Did you know gin is a Dutch invention? Oh yeah! Here at Wine & Fokking, a taste room located in a back alley at Dam Square, you can taste many popular gins, which we call Jenever in Dutch. Jenever is Holland's national spirit. This is old Jenever. So you got something sweet and I got something old. Cheers! Funny fact, the first Dutch Jenever was sold only in pharmacies as a herbal medicine. Oh, <laughs> That's good. It is a sin in Dutch culture to spill your gin, which is what I just did. This is one of the oldest tasting chambers here in Amsterdam. Alcohol percentage, I think, is 20%, so it's pretty damn strong. So in English, some people would say it's pronounced as Jennifer. Unfortunately, it's Jennifer, because Jennifer works in the red light district, and that's where we're going now. But first, we're stopping over for some fresh herring. Twee <laughs> Oh, Some Amsterdam herring from Norway. <laughs> Delicious, thank you. Alright, let's continue our tour. Ooh. Ooh. So we're walking through the uh, red light district. Cafe Remember. I wonder what they want you to remember down there. You usually don't find many locals at the red light district. We consider this place very touristy and try to stay far away from it. Recently, the Museum of Prostitution opened its doors. It's the first museum in the world that is focused on prostitution. Oh, and don't forget to check out the Casa Rosso Theater, which offers all you can drink sex shows and even partake in a few scenes. <coughs> These are the famous outdoor urinals. Maybe disgusting to some, but the locals love them. Known in Dutch as the Krul, and have been in Amsterdam since 1880. At least 15 people die annually while peeing in an Amsterdam canal due to often being too drunk and falling in. So make sure to always use these Krul's. So check it out guys, this is the smallest house in Europe. The width of the house is only two meters and, uh, and two centimeters. It's really tiny, I think the depth is around 6 meters. The symbol next to it, on the left side, that's the actual symbol of Amsterdam. So it's the three axes. Which are the three St. Andrew's crosses. Next, the Frolic Museum, a personal favorite. This place isn't for the faint of heart. It's a museum in the academic medical center of Amsterdam and has the largest collection of human deformities in one place. Creepy. This is the Trippe House, built by the, the brothers Trip, which were one of the wealthiest families in Holland. And they had so much money, they built the widest house downtown Amsterdam. The way the law worked here in Amsterdam is you pay tax on how much space the front wall of your house took up on the street. If your house only took up a few meters, that's, that's what you paid your tax on. Now, the story goes that Mr. Tripp's driver was always envious of Mr. Tripp. And uh, he said once that he always wanted to have a house on this, on this canal even if the if house was as wide as Mr. Tripp's front door. So Mr. Tripp heard the story and he gave his driver this little house right across the street. So that was built in 1696. So it's not a driver's house anymore, but there's some fetish store at the, at the main floor. Ooh! <laughs> a authentic cheese store downtown Amsterdam. This place is called the Cheese Company where you can try a taste sample of all the delicious Dutch cheeses. Did you know the total cheese production in Holland is 30 million pounds per week? Which is the combined weight of 20,000 cows. Mm -hmm. This is really funny. This is Queen Wilhelmina. And let's see if you can notice the mistake here with the statue. So as you can see, two legs are lifted, but they're on the same side, which is an impossibility for a horse. Next up, the Cannel House. My new home? <laughs> I wish. This place is breathtaking. This was an old house by a uh, banker, a Dutch banker. Most of these houses were built for wealthy bankers and merchants. The soil was so swampy that they had to build them on stilts and that caused them to wobble and sink into the river. So now they are each a little off kilter. Het Grachtenhuis Museum should definitely be on your to-do list. 
So another hidden gem in Amsterdam is the Blue 360 restaurant. It's kind of hidden, it's hard to find. Which offers the best view of the city. It's open late, so you can even experience a romantic sunset. Now we ordered some, uh, some drinks and some food. You got some tea and I ordered some ginger ale. But it's homemade, so they got homemade ginger ale. Bitter ball, which is, this is a very common Dutch comfort food. Which is deep fried ragu, but in like little balls. And what you do is you dip it in the mustard. It's like a nice mustard sauce. Ooh, it's really piping hot, but it's so good. This is like the best common food you can get. Oh yes, Dutch weed. People always ask me, why is weed legal in Amsterdam? And I tell them, why do you think Amsterdam has some of the most museums in Europe? Watching paintings high makes you enter a whole new dimension of art. So we're now in the courtyard of the Hermitage Museum. Uh, there's two exhibitions here today, Dining with the Tsars and the Dutch Golden Age. So let's check that out. This museum is primarily visited by a mature audience. The Dutch Golden Age was in the 17th century. Amsterdam was the center of all the international trade. Which is why the Dutch invented the modern stock market. Many rich Dutchmen had their paintings created by now famous painters like Rembrandt, Vermeer and Frans Hals. Speaking of paintings, let's go to the museum of the most famous Dutch painter in history, Van Gogh, which we pronounce in Dutch as Van Gogh. The Vincent van Gogh Museum has 1.5 million visitors per year. And the best time to go is on Friday evening, when you can enjoy live DJs, a live art show and alcohol. But don't go crazy on the absinthe and end up cutting off your ear. There are 207 paintings in the museum, but unfortunately I wasn't allowed to record any works. Streetcars actually go straight through the shopping streets. There's so many pedestrians, it's, it's insane that the uh, streetcars can just go through. So uh, where did we just go? Cox. Cafe Cox. Prior to that we were at the Bulldog, which is definitely a place I would recommend when you uh, come down here. That's right. Kick off your night at Headlight Supplying with a few drinks at Cafe Bulldog, where you can meet up with many foreigners and locals. Then after the Bulldog, go to Cafe Cox, followed by either Paradiso or Milky Way, and then end your night at either number 129 or the Waterhole. <laughs> So one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready now. Don't you? The addresses to all these locations can be found in the description box below. Or you can download the entire map with more hidden secrets from our website. Now, here are some extra tips. The Saanse Schans, a historic site where you can visit the pretty Dutch windmills just north of Amsterdam. The Jordaan. A upscale area on the west end of the city where you can find great local bars and experience beautiful views of the canals. Pancakes Amsterdam, for the absolute best Dutch pancakes in Holland. Volendam, a historic Dutch village, if you really want to dig deep into the local Dutch culture. Oh and if you decide to go to Amsterdam during New Year's, make sure to check out the crazy indoor rave called Freak Show. Oh and if you have been to Amsterdam before, let me know what you like the most and why in the comments section below. So that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe and share.